Today we people are going to discuss static class members. As far as static class members are concerned, there are of two types. One is static class variables, another is static class functions. Static class variables, that is static data, we have only one single copy of static variable irrespective of number of objects. As you people know, we have as many copies of instance variables as the number of objects. But as far as a static class variable is concerned, it will be having only one single copy of value in the memory and that will be shared by all the objects. Now, static class variables, they are also called non-instance variables. Now we come to this part, static class functions. By default, all the functions of a class, they are non-static. Non-static functions, they can access both static class variables as well as instance variables. But as far as static class functions are concerned, they can access only and only static class variables. For example, see, I have three objects of a class sales, sales by number, sales amount and commission. And suppose we want to have, we want to calculate total commission. And in the program that I am going to demonstrate, in that program I would be declaring .com as a static class variable. Now what will happen is, this static class variable will be shared by all the objects. Suppose SL1, SL2, SL3, they happen to be the names of the objects. So we can see these are the instance variables. We will be having as many copies of instance variables as the number of objects. But as far as this static class variable is concerned, we will be having only one single copy. So I am going to demonstrate this concept through a sample program. 